Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible keeps you informed, inspired, and entertained, baby. You'll finish more stories when you listen with Audible, so you'll always be in all those conversations your friends talk about. Don't be left out, baby. With the convenient Audible app, you can listen anytime, any place, in your car, in your ear. Whether you're at the gym, shopping, getting your back cracked. <laughs> anytime you can't read, you can listen with Audible. Yep. Audible members can exchange any title at any time. Start listening today with the 30-day Audible trial. Three? Oh. Mm-hmm. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash jknews or you can text jknews to 500-500. I just recently downloaded this audiobook called What You Do Is Who You Are. Um, it's a book by Ben Horowitz and super cool because it teaches you how to be, as a business owner, build a culture that can help you survive good and bad times. Fun fact, JK was built during the recession. You can find this audiobook and countless others when you start your free Audible trial today. It's free. Mm -hmm. Free, free. Visit audible.com slash jknews or text JK News to 500 500 or just go ahead and click in the description box below for that link and you will go straight down. Thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. And Mean Girl Wedding News. What? Submitted by Secret Hitler. Mm, Love that game. Okay. A woman was shocked to find out why her sister wanted their cousin to be in her bridal party. Ooh, I heard about this one. Oh. This girl's a bitch. How many detail, please? I don't think I've ever heard you say bitch that way. Oh, in actuality? <laughs> true. Yeah. Like, actually, That's true, because Steve yeah. respects women. I do. <laughs> I heard you call Nikki a bitch a couple times. Um, I do. She's your cum dumpster, too. She is my cum dumpster. I mostly call her cum dumpster. Uh, yeah. Respectfully. <laughs> respectfully. Such a nice way to say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this post was posted on Reddit's Am I the Asshole, which is all of our favorite a subreddit. So it's titled Bridezilla trying to use scarred cousin as the ugly friend. That's why I don't have family and don't have weddings. Scarred cousin as the ugly. Think this is about what it, it says. So, so you're taking a picture, bridal picture. Yeah. And you you get an ugly person to be in the picture with you, or an ugly person to make yourself look bomb. Yeah. It it up. It, it, does it work like that? Proven oh, that if you have an ugly person in the picture, it upgrades your value. They right. did a lot of studies because there's a comparison. You know, so that's why I always have someone really poor sit next to me. Yeah. Wait a minute. B Choi? <laughs> <laughs> I know B Choi's like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> actually, no, he, he's the homeowner, so actually, I'm the poor one. Good yeah. Go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this says two things to note at the top of this post. This is an alt account because I'm fairly sure my sister monitors my main, lol. Also, I know what? my sister is an asshole in general and that's not what I'm asking for here. I wanna know if it'd be a shitty move for me to grass on her. So, I was- Grass on her? Yeah, that's- oh. What does that what mean? What does that mean, Steve? Uh, to grass on someone is to scrape them on the ground and leave that little stain, that little grass stain behind. Oh, really? She wants to do that to her sister? I used to have that on my jeans all the time. Yep. Me Not because I was like getting doggy styled or anything like that. Grass. It's because you were getting doggy. Nobody styled? thought that. It's because I was. Running, I thought that. I was I'm running, running, okay. I see. Yeah. yeah. I was running around and sliding. <laughs> so then they continue. So I was just sliding, not getting doggy styled. Not. I wasn't getting doggy styled. Not getting doggy styled at the park. Okay. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you I, should show people examples like getting doggy style out of the park, not getting doggy style out of the yes. park. Yeah, helpful. <laughs> true. Or giving doggy oh. style and not giving doggy style. That's true. I just picture Joe like on a public <laughs> bus and then the guy's not even paying Joe any attention. He goes, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, not from doggy style. Or me getting just doggy style. Just sliding around. <laughs> 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 the guy's like, okay. <laughs> he puts his headphones back. Joe turns to the guy next to him, you're not getting doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they continue. So as I, as I said just there, my sister's not a very nice person. She's very entitled and spoiled and is honestly just kind of a fucking bully. So it she makes was, it okay for her to be a bitch. I love when people do that. She was known for it at school and it definitely hasn't stopped in her adult life. She's also getting married soon, oh joy. We were both at mom's house the other day and she was talking about her plans for her bridal party. She said she's having six bridesmaids, our little half-sister on dad's side, four of her close friends, and our cousin. I was pretty shocked that she wanted the cousin to be part of the bridal party. 
She's a really awesome person and everything, but I didn't think she and my sister were close. In fact, I didn't think she and my sister had even spoken for at least a year or two. Turns out I was right. Seeing mom and I were confused, sister laughed a bit and said, imagine how pretty we'll look in pictures with her. Cousin has a lot of scarring down one side of her face from an accident when she was a kid. She used to be incredibly self-conscious about it as it, it is rather obvious, and she, but she's more comfortable with herself these days. However, I know her appearance is still a pretty sore spot back. for her. Case in point, some rude, uh, some rude ass man in a pub made a comment to her about it a few months ago and she got really upset and went into a depression for a couple of weeks. Oh, I don't want to upset her or make her feel shitty, but I'm also totally disgusted, though not surprised, by my sister and hate the idea of my cousin being in the bridal party while the rest of them are all laughing about her behind her back. Oh. However, I'm scared that if I tell her, she'll have the same reaction that she had to the knobhead in the pub. <laughs> Plus, she'll inevitably tell my aunt what my sister said and it would definitely cause family trauma not pet family drama would it be a dick move for me to tell her or is it the right thing to do <clears throat> damn that one's tough That's why tough. would you tell her yeah why would you tell her yeah <clears throat> what was because she say so she so she knows that people are laughing behind her back and she can at least defend herself or not right. be around that so at right. least she's aware but it's only the sister no one in the audience is talking shit and well, yeah. the bridal party maybe knows Oh, or at least like don't don't be fooled by my sister's action. Like she's not like she's okay. using you. Yeah. Yeah. She's not buying her a hotel like, room be because she friend. really wants you at the wedding. She just yeah. wants you in the picture to make her look hotter. Damn. What I want to know? I think. Damn. I want to know. I wanna see how hot this chick is. <laughs> but she's not that hot. If she really? That's what I'm have... saying. <laughs> yeah. I want right? to judge her intensely. Oh, we can't, right? So Reddit decided that <clears throat> this poster is not the asshole. If she would tell her. I, I think I think the, you know the real answer here is leave your fucking family. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, man. What do you? What exactly do you mean? Yeah, what does that mean? you have a horrible <laughs> fucking sister. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, yeah. Why do people hold on to that shit? I don't know. I don't know if the girl is holding on to it. I think it's just the cousin that we're like. Yeah. We're saying she's going to a wedding. Wait, wait. So who's the fucked up bitch here? The si is the she bride. a sister? Bride. Yeah, but is that her sister? Or is that yeah. her? Her cousin, her her cousin's kind of like ugly one, right? Or She's the scarred chick. Yeah, yeah, and and so, yeah. So I was like, I would I would denounce my sisterhood. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the girl cares about the sister. She's just saying she doesn't want to put the cousin, cousin in depression and then cause trauma within the family. So she doesn't give a fuck about the sister. When yeah, the cousin got made fun of at a bar, oh. she went into depression for several yeah. weeks. So she cares about the cousin. Yeah. Oh, and then she's like, how do I protect and her? The rest of the family she cares about. How do I protect her? I would sabotage the fucking wedding. I would. I would so. Damn. So here's the thing. How, how, I don't know. How would you sabotage it? I would get a bunch of hot people to be in the bridal party. Oh, that is so good. The hottest people on earth. Yeah. Well, wait. You don't have a say in the bridal party. In the audience. It's your sister. Damn. In the audience. Okay. Damn. Dude, I would. That's okay. Critical flaw. Yeah. I would. I would really. Um, well, first, I don't like telling people without giving them. Um, my support. So like if that's why I was initially against like telling her because it's like well if you can't help her Through this whole mess, you're gonna tell somebody you're gonna abruptly like ruin their fucking day They don't know what to do with that and that's they, and then you're kind of like we'll figure it out And then you walk away right in my situation if I it's it's either you don't tell anyone at all You don't you don't let them know you just let them fucking like have fun at the wedding and then if some shit goes down, you can kind of like pull strings behind the scenes and then let that person have a great experience and they fucking never know it happened. And then you tell them afterwards, fuck that bitch, this is what she was doing. That's very different from before the wedding, then you, she, she builds up all this anxiety and then she comes to the wedding now feeling obligated to while she knows she's the laughing stock, that's fucked up. Oh, I feel fucked up not telling her, having yeah, her take too. all the no, fucking no. pictures. Me too. True. And then it, then tell her after the fact it's the like, pictures are hey, there forever. Those, see all those pictures oh, right there? No. This was what was behind that. Yeah. No, 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 but then this is what you do after when you do tell them or, or during the wedding, right? So there's many, many options. One option, <laughs> one option, many, many, many good options. You know, there's many options. One option is you if you tell her to if you tell her before, right? You conspire with her to fucking ruin the wedding and make sure that they get they don't 
they don't have a wedding or they make fucking, they fucking argue in front of everybody. You tell other family members what a fucking shitbag this sister is so you guys can fucking ruin her wedding crazy. I think I you ruined That's her a wedding. a lot of energy. But it's fun though. What if you invite all the hottest people on the earth to the wedding and you fill I the like That's better. That's too. better. Yeah. Cause you have the ability to let people into the wedding, I'm yeah. sure. And you fixed it. Yeah. See, that's pretty good. And they look really good and they take photos. It's so them. fucking yeah. hot that every picture you're just looking at the hot people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cameras what. here. And yeah. you tell them to wear, it's a white wedding, so all the girls wear oh, white. That is so good. good. That's good. Oh, Upstage the bride. Yes. Damn, that Damn, is Damn, you guys are good one. together. That you guys make good. a good team. That is good. That would be tight. That into somewhere. You see, Steve is like a clever comedy good. I'm like an evil, I'll destroy you and fucking traumatize you for trying to Traumatize good people. Wow. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do? Uh, what? Uh, for this. Oh, I, I yeah, I, I would tell her in the beginning. Just tell her straight up. Yeah, and just be like, make a fucked up, or don't even be in the pictures, but if you are, make a fucked up face on purpose, or pretend like the groom's fucking you, or like, <laughs> grab titties. Like, just fuck up every single picture. That's pretty you good. You wouldn't want to ruin their marriage? I would. Well, their marriage is already ruined because the girl's such a piece of trash. Does the guy know what a piece of trash he is? I'm sure he knows. What about the husband? Right. They might know? be attracted to each yeah. other because they're both dick faces. Mm. I try to fuck the husband and make her fucking jealous. And I'm not even gay. <laughs> Oh, you, <laughs> you would put your body on the line? Wait, are you telling me you would put your body on the line? Yeah. What's going uh, on right now? Guy. Last episode you said uh, you were getting doggy styled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was this episode. <laughs> was it? I don't know. <laughs> I try to play it safe it, by it, saying it, last episode. It, it crisscrosses so well. <laughs> it does. It's being grasped. Well, let us know what episode it was, yeah, please. please. <laughs> I'll fucking seduce the shit out of him. How? The chair. The chair's the guy. Do it. What? How, yeah, the chair, the chair. I haven't seduced a man yet, so I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a freestyle. You're a man. You know how you would like to get seduced. So yeah. Just do that. How would you do that? I don't. Okay. That's what would work for you? Yeah. If anyone did that to me, I'm anyone? Like, <laughs> Steve. We, I think that's clear. I think that's pretty clear. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I got a wife. I can't be doing this shit. Yeah, uh, Beachoy. Test it. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It has to be a stranger. Mark. But stranger, stranger. Aww, stranger. Stranger. you don't want to play along. Yeah, because no. it has for, to be for Patreon. Along. For Patreon, can we do it there? Huh? <laughs> if we got somebody from Craigslist and brought them here, and we did it for Patreon, it's gonna work. That's why I don't want it to happen. I'm already blushing thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> guy or girl, yeah, it could guy. Work. anybody, yeah, for sure. especially a big fat lunch lady. If she does this, child, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Beachway, what would you do? <laughs> What if, oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, what would you do to seduce the guy? <laughs> How would you uh, seduce a man, Beecher? Yeah, <laughs> I would take them watching sports. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty get good. They get pretty vulnerable during that. Get them drunk. Pretend to like their team, you know? Oh, he's well, you're good. He's thinking, record. he's thinking real. Wow. He's thinking long term. And then, and then you guys start reenacting what you guys saw on the field? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be like, that, that, that pass was crazy. I'm gonna throw you a pass. Hike. That was yeah. that hike. And you guys start and then going. He, he tries to get it, and yeah. then he goes. Oh, 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 o